Hi, this is Deborah Christofferson. I play Sue Blevins on 911. You're listening to Fandom Family Chats. Hi, guys. Welcome back to Fandom Family Chats. I'm Maureen. I'm Amanda. I'm Tiffany. And today we are joined with our very special guest from the OG 911. We've got Deborah Christofferson with us today. Hi. Hello. We are so, so glad that you're here. And we are, we, you're one of our favorite people. Now, I have not. Oh, thank- Yes, I have not gone through as much of 911 as everybody else has, but you are my, I, I was sad because there was a period of time where we didn't see you a lot in the call center room, and that made me very sad. <laughs> this last season, I was shooting a movie, so. Yeah. Oh, well, that's oh. exciting. I was off doing my thing. <laughs> I'm going to try to not hold that against you, so I'll, I'll try. I'll work on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, write to the producers, tell them that you want more of Sue. So you know. yeah, there you go. Yes. And they need yes. to, they need to work around our schedule, not filming schedules. That would be <laughs> great. That, I would prefer that <laughs> actually. Thank you. <laughs> so we've got some questions for you. Okay, go shoot. So did you know that you always wanted to be in the entertainment industry and how did you get your start into acting? I uh, have always wanted to be an actor. When I was a year and a half old, um, my dad was doing a video. We have a, a video of uh, he's standing with the camera and I come tearing around the corner and I look up at him and I look down on the floor, like for my mark. Do you know what a mark is? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so I look for my mark and I look back up and I'm like this, eight, 18 months old. So <laughs> I think I came in with that. That's awesome. <laughs> For my break, I mean, I went to college, I was a music and theater major, and then uh, um, my, I had intended to go to New York and do Broadway, uh, and, uh, uh, with a little stop at Minneapolis to get some um, credits, and uh, Star Wars came out in the meantime, and um, I fell in love with the magic, and uh, the idea of the force, that that just changed my concept of what God is, that it's everything and everywhere, and it binds us together. Mm-hmm. And I thought, you know what, I want to make magic like that. And so um, when I had the chance, uh, I headed south for warm, sunny California, instead of cold, snowy New York. <laughs> now, are you uh, from a place that gets snow- cold and snowy? I'm from South Dakota. Oh, okay. So, yeah, the Great Plains. It's... Uh, pretty dry heat, hot, mm-hmm. real hot in the summer and very cold and yeah. lots of snow. See, I'm from Wisconsin. I don't have the dry heat, but I had the bitter cold. So I, I resonate with that. Now, yeah. did you, were you actually able to be on any theater productions that you did? Or did you do any theater productions? Uh, when? Here? here? In, in college or any time between? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. I did. I did a bunch of musicals and I did some uh, regular um, straight plays and and um, got my d- double major in music and theater. And then I, I lived in Minneapolis for a couple of years and did a lot of plays there before mm-hmm. I moved to Los Angeles. And I did a few plays here, but then mostly um, I slowly got an agent and you know did a, a job here and there once a year, whatever. And I just kept plugging away. And, and my big break, to answer your question, um, my big break was a show called Murder One. Okay. Um, the 90s and uh, Stephen Bochco. And I played a... a, a serial killer <laughs> I, that, I like it you've you know, redeemed gotta, that now by being the 911 oh. operator now you help people <laughs> it's the most normal person i think i've ever played you know? <laughs> <laughs> played bearded ladies i've played you know it was crazy crazy people but um but yeah i had a lot of fun on murder one and then from that Bochco, um he they wrote the part of jerry turner for me on um nypd blue oh. and um, so that was, then that really got me noticed, the NYPD Blue, especially because uh, it had such a large audience. Okay. So that, and then I, I was able to quit my job. I was working at my job as a legal secretary um, during, I uh, worked on NYPD Blue during the day. And then after we wrapped, I would go to my day job, which was a legal secretary and work until about midnight. So that oh, I did wow. the job and then get up at four in the morning and go do the show again. So that was um, challenging. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> that enabled me then um through that I got noticed for the movie Mouse Hunt mm-hmm. and I booked Mouse Hunt and I was able to quit my day job so that was That's awesome really a nice little um sequence of events that was my break mm-hmm. I think Mouse Hunt came out around when I was in college I think and my mm-hmm. that was something my parents and I would watch all the time together and so I now have kids and I just found it on I think HBO Max I just found it on there I'm oh, it is. Oh. Movie nights every week. Can we please watch Mouse Hunt? Let's watch Mouse Hunt. <laughs> Come on, let's do it's it. A it's a fun movie, and it was it was great. They we shot up near Yosemite, 
um, for the snow scenes and in March and there was no snow. So they actually had to lay blankets, snow blankets on all the hills. And um, they had moved all of us up there. So they didn't have to do that because it was supposed to be winter still, or mm -hmm. late spring. Um, and uh, ended, ended up, they had to fake it anyway, but uh, it was a great film. It was really fun to be a part of. Now, Nathan Lane, he was in that, right? And he's another what? big theater guy. Yeah. Yeah, Nathan's a big theater guy, but yeah, he, uh, yes, he stuck his hand down my blouse. Um, I, <laughs> in character, okay, I feel in like character. we need more of that story. <laughs> part of the movie. It was part of the movie. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, I played, I played a hair model. I had this huge sort of a tree on top of my head with braids coming out mm, like branches. Yep. And, one, and the mouse just climbed up one of the branches and climbed <laughs> down the other and then jumped down into the blouse of uh, the woman who was playing my sister. Or, <laughs> down the down in her cleavage yeah. and uh, and then her her bow stick his stuck his hand down the front of her dress and so Nathan Lane was just like oh okay and, and I looked at him and I grabbed his hand <laughs> down <the> so <laughs> that's yeah. amazing context is always good <laughs> it is always good poor yeah. Nathan Lane is gonna get a phone call <laughs> yeah, yeah no me too no me too <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about your time on the set of 911 and if you have any favorite scenes that you filmed? Oh, um, the time my time on 911, the first season was with Connie Britton, mm -hmm. and I had auditioned to play her mother. Oh. Um, not old enough to play her mom. No. So, <laughs> okay, I'll I'll go in. You know, you always want to get in front of people. So um, I went into audition and I was sitting there and I was absolutely the youngest person in the room. And um, her mother was uh, eventually played by Mariette Hartley, who's a wonderful actress, mm -hmm. but she's, mm -hmm. she was in her late seventies and um, also supposed to be frail and I'm not frail. No. <laughs> <laughs> All and, good things um, that you want to hear about yourself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's just like, well, I'll just go in and I'll do my best. And I did. And um I felt good about my audition, knowing that there's no way that they were going to cast me in that role. And uh, a couple of months later, I got a call out of the blue from my agent saying, uh, hey, you want to work on Thursday? I'm like, OK, what? <laughs> we want. And said, well, they called from 911 and they want you to be the new uh, supervisor in the call center. I'm like, OK. So that was pretty great. I only did one episode that season. There were only 10 episodes in the first season. Yep. So mm -hmm. I um, was introduced to the call center that season. And then the next year, Connie was gone and they brought Jennifer Love Hewitt in. And um, Jen and I just connected. We, mm -hmm. we became fast friends and it's just like this soul connection, you know, that was so much fun. So from day one, we, we really had a had a great time working on the show. And um my favorite scenes are always with her because mm -hmm. we have that friendship, a, a real friendship. And then you can just see the chemistry that we have on scene uh, on uh, the screen. Yeah, it absolutely so, comes across. It does. But yeah, yeah. Um, my very favorite scene would have to be um, last season, when, or not this last season, but season before, season four, when my character got hit by a car. Mm -hmm. And when she came back to the call center and all the operators were there, waiting to welcome her back. And then the, the on the walkie talkie, you know, Angela Bassett and Peter Krause mm -hmm. and everybody was saying, welcome back, Sue, welcome back. And, and it was also wonderful. And then there was just this moment that Jennifer and I looked at each other and it was just, it was one of those magical moments that you have as an actor where you're totally in the scene and the emotion is there. And it was, it was just magic. And they actually got it on film and, um, I took a screen cap and Jennifer ended up posting it on Instagram because <laughs> you can just see the relationship that the two characters have but also that the two actors have and yeah that just it was just such a special moment so that would be my very special very favorite moment I like that one I think one of mine is uh the episode where they um the call center got taken over oh oh that was so fun mm -hmm. oh, and, uh, yeah. and even in that oh. Even in that, you and Jennifer had a really good connection that came across screen. But you, I find that when you're on screen, you have good chemistry with a lot of the people that you're in the scene with. Oh, thank you, Maureen. It just, it, just, it, it feels so natural. So I think that's why we love your character so much because <laughs> when you're on screen, like 
you belong to us because it's it's that real it's that authentic that you belong to us but that's that's one of my favorite episodes is that one because it, I, I don't know it just there's something about that episode the way that you guys all take charge of different situations is really cool yeah it was written really well and and then also it was the first time that all of us really got to work together at mm -hmm. length because usually we'll go in one or two days an episode and um and we're all in doing different things so we don't often get to to be in a, you know big scenes like that and we worked on that for almost a week um it was uh shortly before covid and uh you know jennifer was really sick she had the flu or, or oh. bad cold or something and then i got allergies and so we were just working through being sick <laughs> but there was all of the all of the call center people were there you know josh was there and linda was there and and um um oh goodness he's gonna kick me ashwin what's ashwin's character's name um i can't think of it jamal i think is his character's name and um uh yeah it was just so much fun because we were all working several days in a row and we just really bonded we'd mm -hmm. all been friends you know friendly on the set and everything but we so bonded on that because it was so intense it was day after day after day for you know 14 16 hours and uh, it, it was just really fun. And the guest stars we had on that episode, mm -hmm. the guys that played the-, the Really MC, well done. So good, just so, so good. So yeah, our casting department, it's uh, uh, Ulrich On Dawson. point. <laughs> so good, they yeah. do such a great job of casting. It's everybody's just really, all, all the guest stars and everybody's just really on it. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about what the filming process is like on set? Like the day-to-day the -day filming process? Um, um, gosh, it's pretty boring. <laughs> I <don't know. laughs> you show up, you go to hair and makeup and you get your wardrobe and then you go and sit and you wait in your trailer until, <laughs> until it happens. It used to be, we could sit on set and, and, you know, chat and have fun. And, you know, uh, um, the camaraderie was, was always there with, with COVID you, you're kind of isolated now. So everybody still like that. Yeah. Yeah, um, because up until just recently, you know, LA still had a mask mandate. So oh, did they? Oh, that's right. Yeah, I forgot about that. That and um, and then just everybody on set is really careful because if you test positive for COVID, Whole you thing. can't work. Yeah. And if you're, if you're doing important scenes or you've got a bunch of scenes coming up and you're not, you can't work, then that throws everybody off and it costs yeah. a, you know, a lot of money to mm -hmm. try and schedule things. So um, so yeah, so we're pretty careful and the wardrobe all comes in you know in plastic bags straight from the dry cleaners and then you put it in a um a black plastic bag at the end of the day and then they take it away you know so nobody touches it <laughs> and, um, hair and makeup you know they're all they all have their masks on and some it used to be they also had to wear uh the visors oh, they're not shields doing that. yeah not doing that and um this last season, uh, we didn't have a COVID person so much on set, um, but the season before that, it was really strict. Yeah. Yeah. And um, they had air filters all over and everybody mm -hmm. was wearing the, the masks and the, uh, the shields and everything. So it's taken away a lot of the um, interactions between people, you yeah. know, because you, you can't, you just can't be close like we were in the past. Um, it's getting a little better. But the end, towards the end of this last season, it was um, oh, the the characters at least this last season weren't wearing masks anymore. So when we get there, you know, we rehearse with them on, and then you can take them off at least and see people's faces. Yeah, that's something. Yeah, which is yeah, but we don't really hang out backstage while we're waiting in between scenes anymore. We pretty much go to our trailers. That, 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 that is a little that, sad. Yeah. It, it, <laughs> Um, but you know, but there's still, I mean, everybody's still having fun. Yeah. It's just, it's just with a little bit of a barrier in between. So. <laughs> no, because of the way that you guys kind of have to be for safety reasons. Cause I mean, we were talking with um, one actor once and he had even said that if he were to have COVID and he was already on set, then the whole production would have had to shut down so that it wasn't just him that was out of work, but like everybody, but so I imagine you do have to be more careful and that's conscious of your but because of that, are you guys more apt to like be silly in scenes or break character or, you know, try to get the interaction while you're filming or before filming? No, we do that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so you haven't made it worse for anybody. You're just staying the same. <laughs> I've done a lot of guest starring on a lot of shows and the lead actors always set the tone. Mm -hmm. So um, I was on a show and I, they will, it will be, remain nameless, but I was on a show. <laughs> And the lead actor was not very pleasant. 
and okay. that's being very kind in the wording. <laughs> and Everyone's everybody... gonna pause to go search your IMDb profile right now. <laughs> oh, there's too many to choose from. Sorry. Um, <laughs> but there was uh, you had to walk on eggshells around this person. It was really oh. I walk you know you walk on the set ready to work and everybody's like quiet you're whispering into the mic you're quiet and so. Um, you just have to really pay attention to that, you know, and you see what, how they set the tone and then you have to go with that. And um, Jennifer is the lead on our set and mm -hmm. she is so fun and so playful and so loving and so kind. And, you know, so we just, she set that tone for everybody and that's how we all behave. We have fun and we love each other and, you know, we're on text chains and, mm -hmm. and hang out and, you know, it's just, <laughs> she set such a great tone for the set. So it's really a pleasant, fun place to be. Oh, yeah, that's good to hear. She's been a yeah. long favorite of mine since, since my yeah. high school days. And she on a, it was party of five, right? Was like yeah. what yeah. I knew her from. So she's been oh, a yeah. long favorite of mine. I love her. I was so excited <laughs> when she appeared on the show. Yes, I know her. Yeah, she's I great. know. I was really sad when Connie left because mm -hmm. I had Lights. watched Friday Night Lights and yeah. I knew her from, so when she left, I was like, oh, but then Jennifer came in and I was like, oh, you can't be mad about it. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, Connie, Connie had a deal where she was only going to be there the first year. So yeah, I've read knew, that. Everybody on the show knew that she was only going to be there that one season. So I didn't know with the second season if they would even bring me back because they were going to have a new person, you know, there and how that was going to play out. So um, when I found out it was Jennifer, because I, I, I like her work as well, but I've never met her before. Mm -hmm. And um, so it was it was a pleasant surprise when we just clicked so well. Is there is there someone on set who you would say um, is maybe more of a prankster or more of a jokester? Oh, gosh. Um, I'm so hoping you say everyone. Not, well, I was just going to say, not really any one person, because we just all are fun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's we the are. kind of set that everyone wants to be on yeah it, it is it really is you know and and um both jen and i sing so we're you know we're humming humming tunes all the time and and then <laughs> brian is a comedian and so you know we're cracking jokes and and just that i wouldn't say there's one any one person on the call center side um i've only worked with the rest of every, the rest of the cast a few times mm -hmm. and um and so i'm not sure it might be oliver <laughs> <laughs> The rest of them, but he's 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 very sweet. He's funny. I did a short film with him actually. Um, oh really? Oh yeah, just before the uh, pandemic. It's called She Said Yes, mm. and um, uh, it's you can find it on YouTube. I can send you the link if yes, if you please. Want. Yes, please. And uh, <laughs> she said yes. They all said yes. Um, but it's really fun, and we did it in December before the pandemic. So then it was going to go to um, festivals, and that got postponed because of of course, yeah. yeah um yeah. but it was really fun it was just the two of us and it's it's a very cute little film so oh, yeah, I think you'll, yeah yeah so amanda i haven't heard much from you what do you got for me, me? Yeah. <laughs> I've been talking. Here, right? <laughs> she's coming um, in with her favorite part here soon yes i am gonna talk your ear off in just a minute because i have a really fun game i'm gonna play with you oh okay all right i'm up for games <laughs> yeah I was yeah. browsing your IMDb page earlier, and <laughs> as you mentioned, you have so many guest starring on shows, my, mm -hmm. just so many of my favorite shows. Oh, yay. Good. X-Files, Ally McBeal, NCIS, American Horror Story, Bones, mm -hmm. Greys, everything. You were in Wild Wild West and the Carnival show. I started watching that. It's really good. I love it. Isn't I love your it part, by the way. It's fantastic. <laughs> We were before our time. If that was on TV now, it would be a huge hit. I 100% agree. I, I haven't seen that one, but I might go check it out now. It's yeah. Good. Hmm. Yeah, we were, we sort of started the trend on HBO of, of um, I wouldn't say science fiction or fantasy, but sort of that type of genre leaning towards that way. Because after us came um, True Blood, that which was mm -hmm. a huge hit. And then, you know, and then of course, Game of Thrones. And mm -hmm. um, HBO, the truth was HBO didn't know how to promote us. And this was in 2003 to 2005. Mm -hmm. And the internet was just getting going mm -hmm. on, you know, on, on uh, supporting shows. If we'd had, you know, if we'd had you guys, we would have we been renewed. 
Um, but we cost a lot of money. Um, it was beautiful. It's like each episode, Tiffany, you can speak to this. Each episode looks like a, a film. I mean, it's beautifully mm -hmm. shot. And uh, in fact, our cinematographers won Emmys for, for the, uh, mm. the photography. Um, but it's, a, it's set in the 1930s. It's in the Dust Bowl Ooh. and it's a tale of good versus evil. I know it's my favorite time period. Yes. For and things. And, um, and I play the bearded lady. <laughs> I'm very excited to see that. Yeah, oh, yeah. check it it's out. Carnival. It's Carnival. Yeah, Carnival. It's a really good show. And now, it's still on HBO. That's what I was going to ask. Can we find it on HBO Max? Because I do have yeah. that. So I would like to see that. Most likely, because I think everything that's on HBO Max is on HBO, or HBO is on HBO Max. Okay, Maybe perfect. First, but yeah. That I might was be just my watching movie tonight. this morning. It's there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tiffany? What? I said I was just watching it this morning. It's there. There you <laughs> <Good> go. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta ask the ones in the know, Tiffany. I should have asked you about it earlier. <laughs> so, yeah, you, great. do you have like a favorite time period that you like to go in? I just I didn't think of that question before you said the '30s. So, is that your favorite time period to be in, or is there like Regency stuff or like the '50s or a different era? Well, I've never been in Regency, Ooh. so I don't know. Um, but Carnival, I mean, yeah, the '30s. Um, just when I think of Art Deco, uh, yes. the, the architecture and the clothing. And um, I grew up watching, uh, we had one TV station in our little tiny mm. town. So I grew up watching movies of, you know, Fred and Ginger and, oh. and uh, you know, lots of different oh, yeah. movies, old black and whites from the thirties and forties. <laughs> so, so um, yeah, I think that would be my favorite time to, to if I was going to play, you know, in that, in, in any era, I, I, would, I would pick that. I yeah. can see you with Art done, Deco flair. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> And you know I've done westerns, and those are fun. Um, and uh, but yeah, the '30s I think would be, if I could choose, it would be the mm -hmm. '30s. It's got the perfect blend of like fancy and like everyday, and it's I don't know, there's just something about it. it's magical. It was the depression, you know. You're coming out, yeah. got the depression, and and uh, so people just didn't have much, so they went yeah. to the movies to escape and. Not unlike today. <laughs> <laughs> They're doing the same thing, you know, turn on TV or stream or whatever to, you mm -hmm. know, to, to uh, take us out of the, the issues and problems that we yeah. have to face in reality. Yep. It's our escape. Yes, it is. And it can be a lot of fun. You know, I, I'd much rather see a comedy or a musical or an adventure than a drama because of like, some drama. <laughs> <laughs> So do you have a favorite part that you've played of all the roles you've done? Oh, no. That's a, that's a tough question. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't because, well, you saw my IMD page, IMDb page. I've played so many different types of characters and just really fun. And the thing I like about Sue right now is that she's, she's a um, large and in charge. Mm -hmm. You know, she's, <laughs> she's, um, she's normal. You know, yeah. um, but she's a strong woman, mm -hmm. and and I really appreciate the opportunity to play that. She knows what she's doing. She's um, she can be badass, yeah. uh, and <laughs> and mm -hmm. and I really enjoy that part of her. That she's a a, a strong um, role model. I think, mm -hmm. um, unlike uh, you know the demons that I've played, or <laughs> or the bearded lady. She was, but she was fun. I mean, who gets to play a bearded lady, a sexy bearded lady at that? Exactly. So, um, so yeah, there's just so many roles. And when I, uh, you mentioned Wild Wild West, um, I got to sit next to Kenneth Branagh in the hair and makeup trailer every day for three weeks and hear stories and get to, you know, kind of know this person. And um, just the, the opportunities that I've had playing different roles. It's just been mm -hmm. really a blessing. I'm, I feel very, very fortunate. Do you have a favorite that you prefer to work on movie sets or TV sets? Um, no, I don't. Again, <laughs> I just love it all. <laughs> TV. Um, I like I like TV because I get to be home. I get to stay in Los Angeles. And as much as I love to travel, um, I have a house and I have four cats. And um, it's really hard to be away. Like when um, last fall, I shot Salem's Lot in Massachusetts, which is why I wasn't on as many episodes of 911 mm -hmm. this season um and it was really hard to be away from home for two months so I love being I love to travel and I love doing that but you know a couple of weeks and uh, let me come home <laughs> yeah 
Um, but it's it's really fun, and that with TV, um, you get to grow your character over a certain amount of time, which is really fun. And uh, it's out of order within the the episode, but the episodes make sense. When we're you're on a film set, it's always way out of order. So yeah, it, it's harder to keep track of where your character is if you have a a growth arc mm -hmm. to, to um, keep track of that as you're going. And so that's a, a wonderful challenge to have. And it's really fun being on location. Um, with Salem's Lot again in Massachusetts, um, there was still an, in, there, there wasn't a, ma a mask indoors. I can't even speak. Oh, I speak for a living. Um, there, was a ma there wasn't a mask mandate there. So we had to be extra special careful because again, you get COVID, you can't work. Yep. So yep. we were we were a little bit more isolated. So it wasn't um, the camaraderie that we often have on film sets. Mm -hmm. So right yeah. now I would choose TV over film only because of COVID yeah. <laughs> or mostly because of COVID. Makes sense. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So that hopefully, you know, we're getting to the place where with vaccines and everything that people, um, that maybe someday, if you test for COVID, it won't mean that you can't work. Yeah. I hope. Yeah. That would be so nice. Yeah. Are we going to see Sue back in season six? I certainly hope so. I certainly <laughs> hope so. The last thing that the uh, 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 co showrunner said to me when I left was, we'll see you next season. So, yes. Yay. Hope that's prescient. <laughs> <laughs> hope she's right and that she's well, still in charge <laughs> see, now that we know that that was said to you if you're not in season six we're all gonna riot like, uh, <laughs> no you said sue's coming you said you'd see her again let's we're yeah. gonna make this work yeah, she's she's not ready to retire yet <laughs> when do you guys start filming do you guys because i know it's different for tv and film how they film things but do you guys start as close to september or do you kick back into the summer and start filming before they start releasing their episodes um, every season that I've been on, we started, we've started in July okay. and it's mid July to the end of the, uh, to the end of July. And the writers go back earlier than that so that they can start working on scripts and they're probably working on them even as we speak. <laughs> Good. <laughs> we yes. I, and then we shoot until, well, we had to break for a couple of weeks right after uh, the first of the year, there was some, there was a COVID outbreak. So we didn't mm -hmm. start up right away. And we shot until April. Okay. So usually end of March, beginning of April was pretty much when, when we wrap. Is that why, because there was a gap, we were sort of doing, um, we got into 911 and like, what would you say, Amanda, to feel like November, December is when we started doing the podcast on 911? Yeah. Of last year. So we noticed there was a gap between 911 Lone Star and 911 regular season. And we were wondering yeah. why that was. <laughs> well, yeah, that's part of it. And then also, um, there's often a, there's a, a season break, a mid season break. Mm -hmm. And I think Lone Star, if I'm not mistaken, I think we ended the, one of our seasons ended, you know, with Christmas and then Lone Star came in and then, uh, after they premiered, oh, yeah. started up again, I'm mm -hmm. not certain if that's the, the way of it or not, but, uh, um, with the two shows, yeah, they do kind of, um, in and out a little bit yeah <laughs> yeah but there's generally a mid-season break and then of course you hear from the fans like when are you coming back yeah. <laughs> like, we need it now <laughs> no breaks for you guys I hope, yes no breaks no breaks no happy to just happy to be working you know <laughs> my last question for you is the question we ask all all the actors that we interview is there a TV show that you would like to have a chance to work on or an actor that you would like to have a chance to work with? I wanted to be on This Is Us so bad I could oh. taste it. <laughs> oh, that's such a good I show. show. I love that show. I love that show. Another show that I would love to be on, well, any of the Star Wars shows, because again, I told, like I said, I, I came out here to make magic and I wanted to be in a Star Wars movie or you know, anything Star Wars related, I would love to do just because I'm a science fiction geek. Um, mm -hmm. And and there's a show called Resident Alien on the Sci-Fi Network that's oh, really, okay. I would love to be on that show too. Uh, as far as working with anybody, my top choice is Carol Burnett. Oh, I yes. Love, I love Carol Burnett. I wanted to be her when I was mm -hmm. a kid. Um, I wanted to have a show like her so I could sing and dance and have amazing guest stars. So she is top of my list. Um, Absolutely. 
you know, there's just so many, and I've been so blessed to work with incredible people. Mm -hmm. uh, like I mentioned with Kenneth Branagh, you know, he, we sat next to each other in, in the trailer, but I didn't get any, any uh, dialogue with him. So I would love that opportunity. Mm -hmm. that would be, so That'd be awesome. Those would probably be the two, two top of the list. I can remember I watching. Yeah, <laughs> you have to, right? If you work in this business, your list has got to be enormous. My list, yeah, it's, it's a big list. Yeah, there's we'll a lot of talent. Two hours today, if I <laughs> read my list, it's just gonna be she's gonna be Deborah listing off all the people she wants to work with. That's our whole interview. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, and we we can post that somewhere online. Then. That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> we'll attach we'll attach an application and a resume. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. perfect. All done. <laughs> Carol Burnett, her show is one that we used to watch as a family when I was growing up. We'd all gather around the TV and watch the Carol Burnett show. So that's, I haven't heard that name in a long time. I, I, I missed that show. I didn't realize oh, how much I, I missed it till just now. I loved her. Well, like I said, we only had one TV station. So. Yeah, sure. it, it was NBC and then they changed it to CBS and we all missed Disney, the Disney um, Sunday night Disney specials. Oh my gosh, I remember those. Yeah, mm -hmm. but um, Carol Burnett made up for it. Absolutely. Or, I more than I choose her over that. that. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Great. All right. So we've got some questions from Facebook, some of our fans of the show. Okay. We have our Facebook group for 911. And so they, they put in some questions that they wanted to ask you. Shelby has a couple. She says, what was your favorite scene in the film? And are there any of the calls based off of real life events? Well, my favorite scene to film, we already talked yep. about. Now yep. on our Sue returned to the call center. And um, then there was also, there's another favorite actually that I have, I'll throw this one in, was the second season, the first season Jen was there. And um, Sue and Maddie have a moment in the uh, call, in the coffee room where oh, she just oh, breaks, had a call with somebody who was being abused. Mm -hmm. And so she was in the coffee room trying to collect herself and uh, Sue goes in and just, they have a lovely moment where Jennifer talks about that she had run away from the situation. And I think that was the really the first scene on camera that you can see that those yep. two characters really had a special connection and it was really fun to shoot. Um, and yes, a lot of the calls are based on, on oh. real, real events. Yeah, there was one, in fact, um, there was a guy that ate sushi and he got tapeworms or something or he had worms mm -hmm. coming out of him. Cool. And I had literally read an article about that two or three weeks before that aired oh, wow. <laughs> and I wasn't I wasn't in, I don't think I was in that episode but I'm watching it going oh my god I just read this <laughs> so yeah what a yeah, horrible that, horrible thing yeah there's stuff <laughs> on reality for sure <laughs> um Roche also asked we we already answered this question when did what made you want to start acting but the other question she said is do you have any upcoming roles that you want to tell to us about uh, well, Salem's Lot is the biggest thing that's coming up. It's um, uh, based on the Stephen King novel. There's been mm -hmm. a couple of uh, TV miniseries, but there's never been a feature film mm -hmm. made, made before. And that's um, the guy that wrote uh, It, which is the highest grossing uh, horror film of all time. Yeah. Uh, he wrote and directed uh, Salem's Lot. Oh, wow. And wow script is so good and I'm I'm not a horror fan at all <laughs> I'm not the only horror film I've ever watched from beginning to end was Poltergeist and that was mm. years ago that was enough to scar you that was, <laughs> that was no, no thank you no ghosts you know maybe you know maybe vampires because I don't believe they exist but there ghosts and and you know serial killers <laughs> and all of that no no, no, get in the car, drive away. Do not go back into the house. <laughs> You're the one screaming yeah. at the screen. Just run. Just yeah, run. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't do that. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's crazy. But anyway, um, uh, so Salem's Lot is uh, premiering on September 9th, which is the same date that it premiered. So that's their. Oh, wow. Their little man on purpose? Yeah. On purpose. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I like so it. So that's, that's coming up this fall. I'm really excited about that. Um, I have um, a project that I'm working with Jennifer on that she's going to produce and hopefully, hopefully star in. And uh, we're working on that. And uh, my writing partner, Patricia Beth Hewn, and I have written a script that we're um, sending out right now. It's a buddy comedy, which is a TV series, buddy mm -hmm. comedy, which would be really fun. So, um, yeah, I got a few things in the, a few irons in the fire. I'm, awesome. Like when I finish here, I have to do a self-tape audition for another project. So oh, that's awesome. Now, you yeah. said your writing partner, is that something you dive into a lot? Do you dive into that side of things a lot? Um, 
not a lot, but most more recently, you know, COVID. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Well, how can I keep myself creative? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so we wrote, uh, Patricia and I wrote this really fun uh, pilot that we've sort of turned into a, a, a movie of the week that can then become a series. And um, we're really excited about it. So it's a lot of hear more about that. If it gets picked up, you have to let us know because we want to make sure to tell everyone to watch it. A hundred percent, I will. Yeah. Because, um, Ashley, I, I think we already answered this question, but I, I want to make sure that she gets a shout out. Her name's Ashley Staller from our Facebook group. And she wanted to know if you had a favorite episode that you were in, but we kind of already discussed that with, with Jennifer. I just want to make sure she got a shout out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, yeah, the, the, also the one that you mentioned, which was um, uh, when the call center got taken over. Mm -hmm. So that, that one, and then when I got hit by a car. <laughs> that one had to be really intense too, because the only direction that you were really given was you need to be terrified the entire time. Yeah, <laughs> it's, not, yeah. it's not like you can experience a wide range of emotions in that episode. You had to be terrified for a good portion of it. Well, what was fun is that, um, I mean, Sue doesn't really portray terrified, you know, she mm -hmm. might be terrified inside. So she's just going to sit there and like, think, what can I do to get everybody out, keep my people, keep my people safe. Yeah. And, get, mm -hmm. and um, you know, I didn't know I was going to be sitting in the middle of the scene the whole time. <laughs> it's like, well, this is fun. I'll just get to be here and hang out. And, you know, um, <laughs> so it was, it was really fun though. Cause again, like I said, um, uh, we got to the, that might be, that might trump the, um, the other episode in the fact that we all got to hang out together. Yeah. And the other one was a little bit different, fun for a different reason. Mm -hmm. But uh, this one was just, you know, day after day of hanging out with the same people and not getting tired of them. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's a good point. Very true. Um, e wants to know which actor or actress from the 911 show would you say is most similar to the character and which one would you say is most different from their character? Gosh. <laughs> from, uh, um, hmm. The most different from their character. You know, I, we're all just so, such damn good actors that it's just, <laughs> you know, just <laughs> and you have to bring a lot of yourself to these characters too, I would imagine. So you do. Because it's it's reality. It's not heightened mm -hmm. in any way, you know. Um, maybe Brian, because Brian's always really funny, and Josh doesn't. Josh says some. He quips. Josh yes. quips. Yeah. You know, but it's not guffaws necessarily. And Brian's really funny. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I'm pretty bossy in real life, so I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you know. That's why Sue comes off so authentic. <laughs> no. Um, no, I, I and I shouldn't even use that word. That's not a not a politically correct word. Um, no, I, I, uh, I, yeah, I'm a bit of a control freak. Let's put it that way. So I guess you know, being Sue, Sue and I uh, are similar in that respect. Um, Jennifer's very capable. You know, as Maddie, she's very capable, and she can cry on a dime, but she doesn't have the angst that uh, mm. <laughs> that Maddie has. Not the anxiety or the angst at all, and. Um, I think that Chiquita, who plays Linda, is probably very close to, um, she's probably pretty close to okay. Linda, you know, in, in her uh, her kindness and her softness and her demeanor. Awesome. So, and Ashwin, and as he's very close to being Jamal, too. So. Yes. <laughs> um, I hope that answers the question. It does. Oh, it that does. Perfectly. Yes. Hillary Ruth asked a question, but she also said the best dispatcher around. So we want to make sure that you knew that she felt that way about you. Thank you, Hillary. <laughs> and she asks, who is, now who do you want to, but who is your favorite actor or actress to work with? That might be a question that you maybe don't want to answer. On, on the show? Yes, I think so. Oh, well, I already kind of said that. Jennifer. Like, Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> but I love them all equally. There it is. Exactly. <laughs> No, All right. it's just it's such a good set to work on. And it's, and not every set is like that. You know, mm -hmm. there's been times when I've worked on shows where, again, like with the eggshells, you're walking on eggshells and yeah. nobody really has a good time. And as far as I'm concerned, if you're not having a good time, no matter what it is that you're doing as a, as a, uh, as an actor and you know, as a secretary, as a mom or whatever, if you're not mm -hmm. having fun, then you need to figure out a, either something else to do or yeah. another way do what it is you're doing because life is too short not to enjoy it 100 percent true oh yeah okay so that was that was our social media questions and now we're going to oh. move into amanda's particular favorite part 
Oh, Amanda, hit me with this game. <laughs> Spotlight part. on Amanda for the rest of the episode. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> Okay, no, but this is my favorite game. <clears throat> it's called Rapid Rapid Fire Questions. Okay. And so I will say this or that, and you tell me which is your favorite between those two. So Feel is free this to not be fast. fast. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't have to like be quick. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> you can give us some context too if you want to give context. Okay. There's no such thing as talking too much. Okay, I can do that. All right. Uh, chocolate or vanilla? chocolate is that rapid <laughs> that was, enough <laughs> yes that was instant <laughs> perfect <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. all right uh sour or sweet sweet um music or podcasts probably music because i wouldn't really be listening to podcasts in the car um unless i'm on a long trip mm-hmm. so it would be music but it's FFC if you had to choose a podcast, right? Oh. You know what? If, but, but let me say, if I had to choose a podcast, it would F- absolutely be FFC. <laughs> of course. Of course. Can, you, can you use that as a soundbite? Well, yeah, that's going to be on every one of our social medias for the next All right. year. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, cake or pie? You know, there's a few kinds of cake I really love and there's a few kinds of pie I really love. So I would have to say, both what is your top favorite pie um well lemon meringue probably Mm -hmm. a lot of good lemon meringue um or key lime oh key lime is super good what what about cake actually is that sort of pie and she and cake (laughs) cheesecake is my preferred across the board you give me i will choose cheesecake over anything else oh me too me too 100 percent cheesecake (laughs) let's go with that there you go perfect (laughs) i like it okay all right. Um, tea or coffee? Neither. Ooh. Are you chai, a soda? Chai. Oh. chai is a tea chai. though, isn't it? Chai. It is. Yep. Chai, chai tea. Yep. Chai. Okay. I'll say chai. Do you drink okay. caffeine? No. Um, well, not really. I'm a water drinker. Just, okay. You know, water life. I just That's drink true. water. Tastes good. <laughs> Aren't you all healthy? And- <laughs> no. <laughs> to be fair, I drink a lot of water too. It's just sometimes it's clear. Sometimes it's brown. <laughs> Okay. Coffee. coffee. She means coffee. 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 Yes. <laughs> okay. I felt like I need to clarify that for the listeners so they don't think I'm drinking mud water. No, it, it, it actually took me a second. I was like, <laughs> ew. Me too. We're just like, oh yeah, I get what she means. Okay. Maureen says weird things sometimes that we usually just pretend like she didn't speak. Yeah. No. It's all good. Oh. All right. Though this one we all hate, but laundry or dishes? You know, I, I like things to be really clean. So mm-hmm. it's like, I do it not because I love cleaning, but I, because I like the after effect. Yes. So dishes, you got to do regularly, but laundry, not so much. So I think I'll choose laundry because you don't have to do it so often. That's true. Good point. <laughs> Except if you're me and I have kids and <laughs> yeah, unless, yeah. You, and unless you leave your dry <laughs> clothes in the laundry bags too long, and then you have to rewash them. So you get the wrinkles out. Oh then, yeah. You know, yeah. No, you just real- got to hit the dryer yeah. on a few times. <laughs> And your kids need to be old enough to do the dishes themselves. So then, you know. yes. Oh, I'll, I'll get there one day. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Um, burgers or tacos? Burgers. Give me a good burger over a steak. I love a good Ooh, hamburger. Okay. Juicy. Love a good hamburger. Nice. All right. We- well, do you eat your tacos from the left or the right? Have to be from the left because I'm right-handed. That's the fastest that we've sense. ever had that question answered. No one ever thought to answer that way. We we like to watch people kind of mimic eating a taco and figure out which way they eat. Oh. <laughs> I was just like, well, I'm right-handed, so I wouldn't eat it this way. I need it this way. Doesn't, oh wow, yeah. okay. That was that was rapid too. That's never happened before. Uh, all right. Um, beach or mountains? Oh, mountains. Me too. Everybody always picks beach. Nobody picks mountains. Oh, I don't know. Sand gets everywhere. Oh, yep. oh thank I'm a you. Mountain. Yeah, I'm a mountain. Too. I want a view, you know, Mm -hmm. up high. Yes. I love the mountains. All right. Uh, Spring or fall? Oh, that's really hard. Okay. Here's some context, Maureen. (laughs) Good. good. There we go. This is what I like. It's it's hard because I'm a gardener and I love, I mean, Southern California, it's 
12 months out of the year. But in the spring, especially, you know, things are coming up and they're blooming and the smells and the fragrance and, and it's beautiful and fresh and the air here is usually really clean because we used to have rain. Uh, <laughs> and so the spring would be amazing. But with fall, I love the crispness in the air. In the evenings, you start wearing sweaters mm -hmm. and the colors change. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I, it's pretty close to 50-50, but maybe fall a little bit more because I love the, the crispness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Those are my two favorite agree. seasons. I'm not yeah. a huge fan of winter or summer, really. No, me either. Oh. See, I'm in Texas. I don't like the summer. I, <laughs> yeah. Well, I summer like pretty much everywhere is too hot anymore. <laughs> it's and it's, getting it's already hot. Yeah. It's already hot out here. <laughs> All right, um, guacamole or salsa? Guacamole. Oh, yes. Avocado, uh, baby, California. Yes. Come on. Exactly. <laughs> do you like it spicy or do you like it not spicy? No, I'm not a spicy girl. Okay. Well, I am. Now let me take it back. I am a spicy girl. <laughs> <laughs> you still like spicy food? I, spicy personality, okay? I like to taste the food. If it's too spicy, all I taste is heat. Exactly. So, yeah. No. No. But not spicy food. Just spicy Deborah. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> All right. Uh, creamy or crunchy peanut butter? Creamy. Creamy. You know, we got a lot more crunchies than I thought we would so far. <laughs> yeah. They have different uses. What do, you use, what do you use crunchy for? <laughs> Spoonfuls. That's okay. good for a spoonful of peanut butter. The creamy peanut butter is what you put on sandwiches or toast. But I like the crunchies for spoonfuls because my <laughs> peanut butter is a hot commodity in our house. We all take spoonfuls of peanut butter. Oh, guess okay. what? I'm not eating at your house. <laughs> <laughs> peanut butter. No double dipping. No double dipping. <laughs> they all have to grab clean spoons every time. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, ooh, summer or winter? Mm. Well, we kind now of you gotta choose between your least favorite too. <laughs> oh. Well, I say winter because it's you can you can put more clothes on than you can take off if you're too hot. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's There's my only saying. so much you can take off. <laughs> it also depends on what kind of winter. If you're talking South Dakota, you know, that's brutal. It can be brutal. Um <laughs> yeah. but under below with the wind chill factor, you know. But in the summer Oof. it's 115 dry heat. Oof. So Yikes. back and forth. But California. <laughs> Our winters are pretty mild. So they're, yeah, I would take winter over summer. Me too. <laughs> All right. And our last Tiffany? one. Huh? Tiffany. Tiffany, how about you? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm watching a bluebird try and swoop on the deck. I thought he was going to attack me. Oh no. oh, no. Don't mind me. <laughs> he got awful close to me. I got really scared for a second. <laughs> oh, I blame you. Those can be scary. Very large. <laughs> All right. What were we asking? Okay. We said summer or winter. Summer or winter. Yes. All right. And our last one is pickles or olives. You know, I liked pickled things like pickled beets and and that, but I would have to choose olives. All different kinds of olives. Yes. Love olives. That's a yeah. correct answer. I've never That's had a bad olive. Oh, I'm so glad I got it right. <laughs> <laughs> we're just testing you. Oh, okay. All right. Did I pass the whole thing? Though I passed. You did, you did okay. well. Yes. Okay. Flying hey. colors. <laughs> you fit in fine with us. Thank you. <laughs> All, All right. right. We have we have one more thing that one more sort of game that we like to that we just started ending our episodes with, and this is the most likely to. Oh, um, okay. Tiffany's going to ask you some of these questions, and this is could be this is like. Most likely to from nine one one, from nine one one characters. Okay. The characters. All right. All right. Okay. Hit me. <laughs> Most likely to marry someone they just met. Now this is the character and not the actor, right? Yes. Most likely to marry someone they just met, Josh. <laughs> Although now I'm curious which actress or actress <laughs> would be most likely to marry someone they just met. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Characters are easier. Just to answer on the grounds that it might incriminate me. <laughs> Flirt their way out of a ticket. Ooh. Josh. Yeah, that was good. that's what I, I was going to say. Too. Josh too. <laughs> Lose all of their money in Vegas. 
Should we make it a three? <laughs> three? I, I, I was going to say, there's, there's no other name I can think of now. <laughs> oh. um, you know, he's, I believe his character is a bit impulsive. So mm -hmm. I would say Josh again. Yeah. 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 Sign up for a dating show. <laughs> You know what? Yeah, we're, this is the Josh game today. You know what? Let's let's say let's throw Linda in there. I think Linda might sign up for a dating show. You know, if she and Ryan don't get together, then you know. You would really like to see Josh on a dating show. Just say, just throwing that out there. That would be really fun. Mm -hmm. Help you cover up a crime. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's really hard. Um, out of the goodness of their heart, maybe Jennifer, maybe, I mean, maybe Maddie, maybe. Um, Especially if it was someone she cared I, about. Yeah. Yeah. And like I said, out of the goodness of her heart, I don't know if she would be able to maintain that, but maybe Maddie. Forget where they parked their car. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's go again. <laughs> Josh. <laughs> I was like, Josh. you want me to answer for you? Yeah, that is definitely yeah. a Josh. Yeah, no, he's he seems to be the most fun one there. <laughs> he is. I love Josh. We all do. We usually end by asking everybody what your upcoming projects are, but we've already answered that. So we'll just let you know if you have any social media handles you want to put out there. Now's the time. Um. <laughs> I'm on Facebook and Instagram as, as myself okay. um, and there's pictures. So you'll know it's me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a Twitter account. It's called I am Deborah C, but I don't use Twitter very much. So generally if I'm on 911, I'll post something. <laughs> Other than that, it's not uh, my Instagram is usually um, Instagram or Facebook is usually where you can find me. Okay. And 911 when it's on, because it's now on its summer break, uh, we just finished. If you haven't watched our final finale recap of 911 and OG or Lone Star 911, go check that out. But when it's on, it airs on Mondays. Is it at eight central? It's eight o'clock. Yes. Okay. And, yeah. and, and when um, Lone Star is on, because it sometimes starts at a different time, mm -hmm. um, starts in a different part of the year, uh, it's usually on at nine o'clock. So okay. we're eight and nine. And that's on Fox. So check, be sure to yes. check out 911. Be sure to check out Salem's Lot that's coming out this fall with starring Deborah in it. And if you are looking for more 911 content, which I mean, who's not? Because it's a good show. You can find us on Facebook under 911, 911 Family Fan Club. And there we'll have, we'll have fun postings. We talk about 911. We talk about the actors, what they're up to and different storylines, what we hope to see. So join us over there. And you can always find us on any of our social medias and through our email. So Deborah, you have been a lot of fun to talk with. We really enjoyed talking. Thank you so much for coming on here for your favorite podcast My pleasure. show. Thank you. Thank you. You can also watch reruns on USA, by the way. Oh, really? USA. Yeah. I didn't who, know I that. think it's on Hulu too, but you don't have to pay for USA. So it's true. You know, I think it's on Thursdays. We all binge watch 911 on Hulu. That's how we all got caught up. <laughs> There you just, go. And my kids, they, I, we tried watching Lone Star with my kids and my kids are like, can we go back to the other one? And they like, my, my oldest daughter who's about to be 12 because she's so much more connected to those characters. Cause we started yeah. watching that first. Yeah. She loves yeah. watching that one. I'm not allowed to watch it without her. So that's no. I'm not as caught up as everyone else because I'm not allowed to watch it without her. So. <laughs> well, much it's watching TV. It is. Yes. <laughs> it's a good show to binge watch. Thank you ladies. Thanks so much for the good questions and uh, the, uh, it was really enjoyable. So thanks so much for having me. Bye. So thank you so much everyone. We'll see you guys real soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Loving our content? Subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to share our podcast with your family and friends. We want to continue the conversation with you. You can find us on Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok under Fan and Family Chat or one of our ever-growing Facebook groups by searching Family Fan Club. We've also launched a website familyfanclub2021 at wixsite.com. You can email us there and keep checking it for announcements and merch coming soon. And of course, be sure to tune in every week for new episodes discussing all your favorite shows.